what it do y'all welcome back to my channel now i heard that amarion and been getting y'all down a lot of y'all have been sick lately and i know for a fact that you all don't want to slave in this kitchen to get y'all something comforting to eat now normally i would suggest for you to eat an all vegetable type of soup but I know y'all ain't really trying to hear that right now so let's get into this video and i'm gonna show you a shortcut way on how to make a classic traditional comforting and healthy soup now even though this is a shortcut we want to make this as close to authentic as possible so i'm starting off with a little carrots and celery of course add a little sea salt to help break things down faster and even though it's celery in here i'm going to amplify that favor that flavor a little bit more with some celery salt now I'm not sauteing today with any soup normally you're gonna sweat the vegetables and normally it's mirepoix I'm missing onions so yeah we're gonna sweat that while that's sweating I'm gonna start prepping my chicken getting it all seasoned up since I'm using like a soup pot all I'm looking for is a little color on this chicken and of course to cook it through but with this type of pot, don't expect it to have like a blackened look or, you know, a normal sauteed look. Just add a little color, get it nice and juicy and cooked, and uh, you'll be on your way. These are the three seasonings I'm using. Creole, a table blend, pepper, and I did add a little bit more salt, so I'm keeping it really simple. Once that's done, remove it from the pot. Keep all of those flavorful juices that's in there. It's a little oily, but you will be okay. It's not gonna harm the dish. Next, you're gonna add your water in. This recipe calls for about eight cups of water for this pack that I'm gonna show you. And this will feed about, I think they said the serving size is like eight, eight to 10 servings here it goes right here this is my secret ingredient bear creek about three to four dollars at your local grocery store look in the dry soup aisle and this is family size so you want to get that water to a rolling boil and i'm showing you all how it looks before i dump it you see all those seasonings in there it looks pretty delicious so whisk away and pour away back in those carrots and celery and then of course you should already know what's after that that nice juicy homemade chicken yes sir you are on your way stir it on up and the recipe says that you can cook this in 10 minutes and be done which is true but if you have time, I will let it go for at least 30 to 40 minutes. It only increases flavor. Of course, taste as you go. I'm adding a little bit of thyme and good old fashioned Lori seasoning. Didn't take that much. And like I said, I had time, so I let this go for about 30 minutes. And voila. Here we go. Does that not look like you cooked it all yourself, y'all? And this only took maybe 20 minutes, depending on how fast you can chop up them vegetables and get that chicken going. I lied. It took about 25 minutes with sitting in between, though, okay? So if you're not feeling good, I am so sorry to hear that. I hope that you get well soon. If you try this recipe, let me know how it worked out for you. Like I said, you can find this at your local grocery store. Super easy and super flavorful. Don't tweak just because it was in the little um, dry package or whatever you want to call it, pre-packaged. Look at that. It looks authentic and it tastes authentic too.